we're getting close to the anniversary of John Swat's passing away. There was a story he'd like to tell. It's a very popular story in the forest tradition about the empty text. There was a monk whose knowledge of the text was very great. He was very proud of the fact he had lots of students, but he had no meditation experience. And so one time he went out to visit a group of arhants in the, in the forest. And the arhants would give Dharma talks, and the devas would come down and show their appreciation. Then he gave his Dharma talk, and the devas turned their faces away. So he was upset, why are the devas so unfair? So I went to see the Buddha, and the Buddha said, well, you're an empty text, what do you know? And that struck him. So he decided he had to learn meditation. So he went to see Sariputta. The story is in the commentary, by the way. He went to see Sariputta. Sariputta wouldn't take him because he knew that this monk had a lot of pride. So he went down the list of the, the great arahants, Moggallana and the rest. Nobody would take him. Finally, they got to a little novice who was an arahant. He said, okay, I'll take you out as a student on one condition. You go walk down into the lake with your robes on. And by that point, they, this elder monk was so desperate to get a teacher that he was willing to just walk in the lake, got his robes wet. Then the novice came, said, okay, now come out. You've shown that you've lost some of your pride. And so he taught him. And the novice's lesson was this. There's a big termite's nest, and it has six holes. And there's a lizard in the termite's nest that you want to catch. So what do you do? You close off five of the holes, and you wait at that one hole. And the lizard is sure to show its face, and then you can catch it. Of course, the termite's nest stands for the body, the six holes stand for the, the six sense spheres. Close off five of them, in other words, everything except the mind. You're interested only in the mind. And as you watch the mind, then you're sure to see the five ones. So as you go through the day, remember, that's where your primary interest should be. You can't help but see things and hear things. But your interest should be with, how is your mind handling these things? Because the mind is the problem. If you want to see your greed, aversion, and delusion, you keep watching the mind. You don't go watching things outside. Because the things outside are not greed, aversion, and delusion. It's the greed, aversion, and delusion inside the mind that goes out to those things. So you want to catch it. So make sure that your interest is right at the mind. And we stay focused on the mind by staying focused on the breath, because that's the thing that's closest to the mind. It's your anchor in the present moment. And then watch. And then when something comes up that's not skillful, okay, you can, you can deal with it, because you see it, rather than seeing how it colors everything else. Because if we allow it to go out our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and body, it colors everything we see and hear and taste. And then we see things in its coloring. We don't realize that we're wearing colored glasses. That's the way the world looks to us, that whatever color our defilements are, that's the color the world is going to take on. So if you step outside of the defilement, then you can see clearly, and you can catch it. And that way you're not under its power.